This note card example is a simple click and reveal activity that lets learners explore pretty much any type of content in a free form way by clicking slide notes. Let's take a look at just how easy it is to build something like this in Articulate Storyline. All right, let's go ahead and get started by creating our initial note and a simple rectangle does pretty well right here. We're gonna do something with the rectangle just to give it a little bit more of a note card kind of feel like it's coming up off the slide. And we're gonna do that by adding a, a kind of a cool custom drop shadow effect to it. So to do that, we're actually gonna work with the moon shape. If you worked with that very often, don't see the moon shape used so much. Oh, the moon shape is actually perfect for creating drop shadows. Well, it looks kind of like a mustache right now, right? But when we add a dark color to it, dark fill, and then we come in here to shape effects and add a soft edge, and then make it a little bit bigger, and send it to the back, right click, send it to the back. So now, I just select it and then use my arrow keys, what it should happen is it starts to look like, hey, it's coming up off the page a little bit. And you can certainly tweak this a lot of different ways by changing the opacity of the shape right making it lighter or darker however you want to kind of play with that just to um, control that effect going to go ahead and cut it so control x to cut it to my clipboard and i'm going to jump into states so edit states and just paste it and then send it to the back one more time and that just keeps it um, just underneath the uh, the shape underneath the uh, the note card shape and just add a quick not that big. Little button right here for our, like a thumbtack. And then while the note's selected, I will type note one. Oh, it's a little bit light, right? So up there to home. And there's my note card. You could go through and add all of the effects, the different states to it, like hover and, and visited. But essentially, we have this all set up. And with that set up, I'm going to go ahead and create a slide layer so we can actually show content, right? Whatever, whatever we want to reveal for this first note. So let's jump on down here to slide layers and create the, uh, click the new layer button and double click this to rename it. We'll name this note one. And we can, of course, you know, style this and put any kind of content we want on here, video, a text. I'm just going to put a big old shape on here and we'll make this look like it's a, a note card. And right, whether we inserted a character, or I think we used Atsumi, and then we actually had her holding up uh, one, two different fingers based on whichever uh, slide layer you're on. So I'll just stage the content like this, but obviously you're going to customize this, 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 this slide layer, this kind of light box effect um, based on how you want to use it. And we'll make a little close button. So we'll put that up here. Make this stuff a little bit bigger just so it shows up nicely on the screencast, but obviously you're going to you're going to want to make it fit for what you want. With this selected, I want to, I actually want to use this button to kind of close out of the uh, effect. So add a trigger that says what? Not show layer, but hide layer. And the current layer when I click the oval. And that's it. So that'll take us back down here to the base layer. Select my note card. And let's add one trigger that says, hey, what? Go ahead and show me a layer. We only have one right now. When I click that rectangle and OK. And let's go ahead and preview it. All right, so come down, click. There's that Zoomy, close out, and we're back down here on the layer. So the only thing you need to do going forward is duplicate your note card. So you can do that by control click dragging, right? Update the note label. And we'd obviously want to then come over here and duplicate our existing, our first note card. So we just click duplicate, rename that one. And we could obviously change the character here to have her showing two fingers, right? So now she's on number two. What is that? Number two right there, right? Slide layer two. And then updating the trigger for the note card, right? Because they're both pointing to layer one right now. We want to update it to go to note two. And that's it. So you just keep duplicating the note cards, the slide layers, updating the trigger, rinse and repeat. And that's really how easy it is to build a note card interaction in Articulate Storyline.